So welcome everyone to Topic 3 Lab, where we're going to do a screencasting or screen recording and video editing. I'm just going to do a quick introduction here to the video editing, and then we'll get into a hands-on session. I'll give you a little demonstration of how the screen recording works, and then I'll stop recording the video here. So after you've installed ScreenShot, there's this little salmon button up top here. Thank you for interrupting me, Xiaomin. That's very helpful. Anyways, there's a screen castify plugin button here. You click that. And I'm going to do the whole desktop, record the whole desktop. I'm going to do the microphone. You could turn it off, but I'd recommend you turn it on so you can narrate the what you're doing on the screen. And I would not turn on the webcam. So at the record, it's asking me, I've got two screens and I'm going to do screen one. And then it does a countdown. And then there we go. So I'll demonstrate how to do this. You can see if I highlight text, it gives me a little circle to let me know that I've highlighted, or that I've clicked, sorry, or clicked and pressed. And there we go. We got a video. I'll maybe go to this tab here, show how you download OpenShot. And then when I finished my video, I press the button for the plugin up top here, and I hit the stop button. And then it saves the video to my Google Drive, but we want to download it. So I click on the download button and then export as MP4. And you don't need to click the convert frame rate and then export. And all of this is in the instructions. So uh, I just, it's sometimes easier to see it once before you work through the instructions. There we go. It was a short video. So it just a took a few seconds to download. Now I'll click the download button and it'll save. Uh, screen capture video. That'll save that to my downloads folder. So if I go back over to, oh, I closed it. I'll open up iMovie again. And go to my media. I'm just going to delete this. And I'll import the, oh, I got to delete it here first. And then delete. So if I click on the import media button, there's a screen capture one that I just recorded. Then I'll drag that down into my timeline. And there we go. We've got the video that I recorded. And let's say, you know what? I don't really want that open shot. I'll just click there, right mouse click, split, and then I'll delete that. Anyways, that is um, that is Screencastify and walking you through how to import it into iMovie. Similar process for OpenShot Video Editor as well.